Hello and good morning all my brothers and sisters. Hey, Jamie here and um, we are back again to read from the book of Proverbs um, to be blessed today by God's holy word. And again, um, I just want to thank each and every one of you again for your beautiful comments. Um, they mean so much and it just blesses my heart because I see Proverbs blessing your heart. It's all about God. It's not about me. And um, I just want you all to know that it just blesses me so much to see that this journey through Proverbs is blessing each and every one of your hearts the way that it is. All right, before we get started, let's just go before the Lord in prayer. And let's just lift up our Holy, Holy Father in heaven. And let's just praise His holy name this morning before we get started. Father God, Lord Jesus, we come to you this morning. We glorify your holy name, Lord Jesus. And Father God, we thank you for this beautiful day of life that you've given us again. We thank you, Father God, for, for all the love, for the mercy, the compassion that you have upon us, Lord Jesus. Father God, we thank you that you, you ministered to us, Father God, and that you teach us your wisdom and your knowledge. We thank you and we praise you for the book of Proverbs today. Lord Jesus, we pray that, that all the eyes and ears that hear this message and this teaching will be blessed today mightily by hearing your beautiful words, Father God. And Lord Jesus, again, thank you most of all for what you did on the cross of Calvary, for the blood that was spilt, oh, Father God, so that we could be saved from an eternal damnation in hell. And oh, Lord Jesus, again, we glorify your holy name, Father God, and, and oh, dear Lord, I pray that you would help me today as I read through your precious word. May the Holy Spirit fill all those who listen. May the Holy Spirit fill me also, Father God, and give me the words to say. Help me as I read your beautiful words. And Lord Jesus, again, Maranatha, we cry out, Oh, come, Lord Jesus. Father God, we love you, and we thank you and praise your holy name. Amen. Amen. All right. Well, we will start today on chapter 26 and uh, we will begin to read all right and it starts out as snow in summer and rain in harvest so honor is not fitting for a fool like a fl like a flitting sparrow like a flying swallow so a curse without cause shall not alight a whip for the horse, a bridle for the donkey, and a rod for the fool's back. Do not answer a fool according to his folly, lest you also be like him. Answer a fool according to his folly, lest he be wise in his own eyes. He who sends a message by the hand of a fool cuts off his own feet and drinks violence. Like the legs of the lame that hang limp is a proverb in the mouth of fools. Like one who binds a stone in a sling is he who gives honor to a fool. Like a thorn that goes into the hand of a drunkard is a proverb in the mouth of fools. The great God who formed all things gives the fool his hire and the transgressor his wages. As a dog returns to his own vomit, so a fool repeats his folly. Do you see a man wise in his own eyes? There is no there is there is more hope for a fool than for him. The slothful man says, There is a lion in the road, a fierce lion is in the streets. As a door turns on its hinges, so does the slothful turn on his bed. The slothful man buries his head in the bowl. It wearies him to bring it back to his mouth. The sluggard is wiser in his own eyes than seven men who can answer sensibly. He who passes by and meddles in a quarrel not his own is like one who takes a dog by the ears. Like a madman who throws firebrands, arrows, and death is the man who deceives his neighbor and says, I was only joking. Where there is no wood, the fire goes out. And where there is no tailbearer, strife ceases. As charcoal is to burning coals and wood to fire, so is a contentious man to kindle strife. The words of a talebearer are like tasty trifles. They go down into the inmost body. Fervent lips with a wicked heart are like earth, earthenware covered silver dross. 
He who hates disguises it with his lips and lays up deceit within himself. When he speaks kindly, do not believe him, for there are seven abominations in his heart. Though his hatred is covered by deceit, his wickedness will be revealed before the whole congregation. Whoever digs a pit will fall into it, and he who rolls a stone will have it rolled back on him. A lying tongue hates those who are crushed by it, and a flattering mouth works ruin. Chapter 27 Do not boast about tomorrow, for you do not know what a day may bring forth. Let another man praise you, and not your own mouth, a stranger, and not your own lips. A stone is heavy, and sand is weighty, but a fool's wrath is heavier than both of them. Wrath is cruel, and anger a torrent, but he, but who is able to stand before jealousy? Open rebuke is better than love carefully concealed. Faithful are the wounds of a friend, but the kisses of an enemy are deceitful. A satisfied soul loathes the honeycomb, but to a hungry soul every bitter thing is sweet. Like a bird that wanders from its nest is a man who wanders from his place. Ointment and perfume delight the heart, and the sweetness of a man's friend does so by hearty counsel. Do not forsake your own friend or your father's friend, nor go to your brother's house in the day of your calamity. For better is a neighbor nearby than a brother far away. My son, be wise and make my heart glad, that I might answer him who reproaches me. A prudent man foresees evil and hides himself. The simple pass on and are punished. Take the garment of him who is surety for a stranger, and hold it in pledge when he is surety for a seductress. He who blesses his friend with a loud voice rises, rising early in the morning, it will be counted a curse to him. A continual dripping on a very rainy day and a contentious woman are alike. Whoever restrains her restrains the wind and grasps oil with his right hand. As iron sharpens iron, so a man sharpens the countenance of his friend. Whoever keeps the fig tree will eat its fruit, so he who waits on the, his master will be honored. As in water, fa as in water face reveals face, so a man's heart reveals the man. Hell and destruction are never full, so the eyes of man are never satisfied. The refining pot is for silver and the furnace for gold. And a man is valued by what others say of him. Though you grind a fool in a mortar with a pestle along with crushed grain, yet his foolishness will not depart from him. Be diligent to know the state of your flocks and attend to your herds. For riches are not forever, nor does a crown endure to all generations. When the hay is removed and the tender grass shows itself and the herbs of the mountains are gathered in, the lambs will provide your clothing, and the goats the price of a field. You shall have enough goat's milk for your food, for the food of your household, and the nourishment of your maidservants. Chapter 28 The wicked flee when no one pursues, but the righteous are bold as a lion. Because of the transgression of the lamb, many are its princes. But by a man of understanding and knowledge, right will be prolonged. A poor man who oppresses the poor is like a driving rain which leaves no food. Those who forsake the law praise the wicked, but such as keep the law contend with them. Evil men do not understand justice, but those who seek the Lord understand all. Better is the poor who walks in his integrity than one perverse in his ways, though he be rich. Whoever keeps the law is a discerning son, but a companion of gluttons shames his father. One who increases his possessions by ushery and extortion gathers it for him who will pity the poor. One who turns away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer shall be an abomination. Whoever causes the upright to go astray in an evil way, he himself will fall into his own pit, but the blameless will inherit good things. The rich man is wise in his own eyes, but the poor who has understanding searches him out. When the righteous rejoice, there is great glory, but when the wicked arise, men hide themselves. 
He who covers his sins will not prosper, but whoever confesses and forsakes them will have mercy. Happy is the man who is always reverent, but he who hardens his heart will fall into calamity. Like a roaring lion and a charging bear is a wicked ruler over poor people. A ruler who lacks understanding is a great oppressor, but he who hates covetousness will prolong his days. A man burdened with bloodshed will flee into a pit. Let no one help him. Whoever walks blamelessly will be saved, but he who is perverse in his ways will fall at once. He who tills his land will have plenty of bread, but he who follows frivolously will have poverty enough. A faithful man will abound with blessings, but he who hastens to be rich will not go unpunished. To show partiality is not good, because for a piece of bread a man will transgress. A man with an evil eye hastens after riches and does not consider that poverty will come upon him. He who rebukes a man will find more favor afterward than he who flatters with his tongue. Whoever robs his father or his mother and says it is no transgression, the same as companion to a destroyer. He who is of a proud heart stirs up strife, but he who trusts the Lord will be prospered. He who trusts in his own heart is a fool, but whoever walks wisely will be delivered. He who gives to the poor will not lack, but he who hides his eyes will have many curses. When the wicked arise, men hide themselves, but when they perish, the righteous increase. We'll stop right there, church. All right. I pray that these, this teaching bless you all today in a mighty way. Again, God's holy word in these last days, church, we need to dig into God's holy word and at least read every day if we possibly can, even if it's just one chapter or one piece of scripture, whatever it takes. And I speak to myself right there. I pray every day, Lord, just give me the hunger I need to read your word every day and bless my heart as I read it. So I pray that this blessed you all again. Jesus Christ is coming back soon and that is the oil for our lamp. We have to be ready and prepared for our master, our king, when he splits those skies wide open and calls us home. We've got to be ready, church. We're almost at the point and Jesus Christ is coming and I believe it's sooner than most people think. We have to examine ourselves and make sure that we are ready to meet our Abba Father face to face. Amen? Alright, well, I'm going to put out a, uh, a call of salvation here. If you're watching this video and you don't know Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, today is the day of salvation. All you got to do is believe by faith that Jesus Christ died on that cross and three days later he arose from the grave. And, you, and when you go before the Father, when you go before God and you pray, you simply pray, Father, Lord Jesus, I am a sinner and I have come short of the glory of God. I ask you, Jesus, please save me and forgive me of my sins. Take me by the hand and lead me every step of the way. I love you, Jesus. Amen. And if you pray that prayer with a sincere, humble heart, congratulations. You are a child of the King. I tell you, living the life as a Christian is, is the greatest thing that you could ever have. Giving your true heart to Jesus Christ is the greatest, greatest happiness and peace that you'll ever find because He is faithful and He is true and He will guide you every step of the way you need to go. Amen. Alright, well I pray again this blessed you all. Thank you for taking the time out to listen to this uh, Proverbs journey. And until next time, keep looking up. Jesus Christ is coming. May God bless each and every one of you. In Jesus Christ, most holy, holy name. Amen. Talk to you later.